okay? Look up to Paul I Flint. We are spending our weekend at Paradise Ranch near Tylertown, Mississippi. Now this is our first time camping here. We've heard a lot of great things about it. Uh, so we decided to come up. Now it is July. It's very hot. It is only about 9 a.m. and it's extremely hot already. So um, we knew this when we booked, but I wanted to come and take a video of, they have uh, way behind me, you can see they have a whole bunch of new pull through sites that people are really anxious to see. Um, I believe they just opened them up very recently for booking and so those are now available. We are in a site around the lagoon and we came in last night and we got here at about 7 so we decided you know what we'll go to the pool for about an hour so we did that and it was very nice and relaxing and so um, we are starting our weekend here so I will give a full review of what I think about the new sites, the old sites, campground in general at the end of the video but first let's check out the pictures of all of the campsites some of them are great um, some of them are full sun so check out the pictures and then we will talk about what I think about Paradise Ranch in Tyler Town Mississippi
It is now Sunday and we have been at Paradise Ranch since Thursday evening. So here are my thoughts on Paradise Ranch. We actually love it here. There are a lot of people that don't like it um, for different reasons, but I'm just gonna go over why I like it and why I think Paradise Ranch is a great place. So yes, they put in a bunch of new sites and yes, people are gonna say that the pool's gonna get too crowded and it's gonna get too crazy, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I think there are kinks that they have to work out and I think that the management here really wants to work those kinks out and is working hard to make Paradise Ranch continue to be a great place to camp. So um, while we were here, our site was not directly on the lagoon. We were across the street, but in the lagoon loop. And so we had to carry our stuff over there. Um, was not a big deal. We didn't run a golf cart or anything. I've seen people complain that there are nowhere to park golf carts, and that's not true. The truth is people don't want to follow the rules and people don't want to drive to the back of the lagoon and park where there is golf cart parking. And then there's a whole parking lot um, next to like where the dumpster area is where there's golf cart parking. They would have to walk a little, not very far to be honest, to get to the lagoon and people don't want to do that. So then they infringe upon other people's campsites. So it's just people being rude. Um, that are causing the issues. So I think there's plenty of parking. There's plenty of golf cart side-by-side -side parking towards the back of the lagoon by the um, little pavilion area where they have the bands and everything like that. So that could be an issue that is easily solved by people following the rules and being respectful of other campers. Now, I know the lagoon um, has gone through some changes through the years and the management is aware that it needs some repairs and things like that. And I think that's next on their list to do. And they're talking about maybe putting in um, a new pool or new features, maybe a lazy river. So things like that are in the works, but I think people People have to realize that those things take money and so yes they opened all of these new sites yes there's going to be an influx of people um, but in the end they have plans to make things better so I would not give up on Paradise Ranch if, if you've come here for many years and you love it. It still has a great feel to it. We felt like we were camping in the woods. Now, if you're camping in the new section, um, you're not gonna get that feel, but some people don't care about that. So, um, you know, you can pick your site and that's the great thing. So uh, just be aware of where you book, what you're gonna have to do. I would say that if you book in the back, um, even on the lake or any of those other sites, you either need to bring a side-by-side -side or a golf cart or book your golf cart rental when you book your site to ensure that you have one because I know this weekend they did rent out of golf carts. So just plan ahead because it is a good little um, distance and we kind of decided if we camped here in the fall or something, we would like to be back in the back by um, the lake. But, you know, other than that, we really liked being around the lagoon um, on the back side, it wasn't noisy, it wasn't a distraction. Yes, golf carts were coming in and out, but it really was not bad at all. And we're actually backed up to the road, the main entrance, um, so there's a lot of campers pulling out today, and that wasn't even really that bad. So. We thoroughly enjoyed our time here at Paradise Ranch. The manager is very, very friendly, um, very helpful. If you have a problem, I would say try and speak to someone at Paradise Ranch and not post it on Facebook, ranting and raving, because if they don't know there's a problem, they can't fix the problem. So um, speak to one of the employees here. They were all very friendly and very helpful. And if they know a problem exists, chances are they're gonna work to fix it. Um, do you want the management sitting all day scrolling Facebook to find your problems? No, just go tell them. So that's another thing that I would say, and, and that's for any campground. Don't voice your opinions on Facebook, ranting about something that was an issue if you didn't even try to speak to the people at the campground and have it resolved because if they don't know, they can't fix it. So um we enjoyed it it was a great weekend we're we're here we're booked through tomorrow but we're staying um today and then we're gonna leave this evening just because of work and things like that but 
Um, we already booked for next year. We really had a great time. The lagoon was cool all weekend. It never got hot and felt like you were sitting in just a boiling hot tub. Um, yes, on Saturday it got a little full and it was a little busy, but there was so much space in the lagoon that you could find a little corner and not even be near people. So. Um, while it was busy and all of the new campsites were open, I never felt like it was overrun. I never felt like we were, you know, packed into the pool like we have at other places. Um, so give Paradise Ranch in Tylertown a try and book a site. And if you've camped here, I would love to know your favorite site. We picked out a couple of our favorite sites. So um, just let me know what you think in the comments. And, um, and thanks for watching the video.